tragedy unfolds in the Woodridge subdivision. Sumter police say Charles Slacks entered this home using a key where he shot and killed his two children, one stepchild, and an unrelated male coworker in the backyard before Slacks killed himself, leaving his ex-wife unharmed to mourn the loss of her family. PVO speaks here, back again, and we're talking about the unfortunate and tragic news coming out of Sumter. South Carolina involving two brothers and a sister who are U.S. Army veterans. This particular story was difficult for me to do considering that there were three children unalive in this tragic incident and my personal ties to the military. I have family members who have served in the military and I have a great deal of respect for the military and our brothers and sisters who are serving this country. But my channel is a pro-truth channel. It's a pro-real channel. And I have a sense of duty and obligation to some of you brothers and sisters who may come across this video that find it informative that you may use it as a lesson learned to possibly avoid some of the same pitfalls that could have allegedly led to this situation happening. Disclaimer. Nothing that I state in this video is to try to place blame on any one particular party or to try to rationalize or justify the actions of one Mr. Charles Slacks pictured on the bottom right hand corner who was the ex-husband of Miss Aletha Holiday, who unalive a fellow veteran and co-worker, Mr. Carlos Evans, then to do the unthinkable and unalive his own children and himself. Obviously, Mr. Slacks was suffering from some type of mental illness possibly stemming from his military career, possible PTSD. He was awarded the Purple Heart, meaning that he was wounded in combat. So that could possibly be a trigger, but it's nothing to justify his actions at all. In my personal opinion, I believe this was an alleged love triangle gone wrong. And I would go about proving why I believe that with social media evidence, understanding and also scriptures while conducting research on this story it became very apparent to me that the military along with the media has done a great bit of damage control to protect the reputations of their two soldiers one mr carlos evans who is a high enlisted service member at u.s army central command along with the ex-wife Sergeant Major Aletha Holiday, who is also a high-ranking service member stationed at U.S. Army Central Command. A lot of times when these articles are published, you have to not only pay attention to what they say, but what they don't say. Almost any time a service member passes, whether it's, it's in the line of duty or off-duty, usually the military releases a statement saying who that service member is survived by, usually wife or kids. But after reading several reports, nothing was ever mentioned about his wife and kids. By now, many of you are aware of the passing of our bro, Command Sergeant Major Carlos Evans, on behalf of his wife, Afrida Evans, and the family. I ask that you all keep his family lifted in your prayers as they continue to process this tragedy. His homegoing celebration will take place in Petersburg, Virginia, at a date and time to be determined. So why wouldn't the Army mention that... This man has a wife because it's all about optics and how things look. Because in every article that I've read, it also stated that there was no romantic involvement between Mr. Carlos Evans and one Miss Aletha Holiday, who was recently divorced from Mr. Charles Slacks. But at the end of the day, the military looks down on any type of adultery and Although Miss Holiday was recently divorced as of two weeks prior to this incident happening, it appears that Mr. Carlos Evans was in fact still married to Afrida. Now, I don't know if they were actually separated. I did check out his Facebook. And just by judging from the Facebook, of course, I didn't have all of the access. Uh, it only showed pictures of him by himself or with his daughter. Now, we've all been on social media and seen couples get a divorce or break up and then all of a sudden 
you click back on their page and the partner or the ex-wife or ex-husband is nowhere to be found on their page. This could be indicative that maybe there was something rotten in Denmark. Maybe they were going through some marital issues or a separation. In the military, it's all about perception of how things look. And for a high-ranking service member who is married and who is a husband to be at his female co-worker's house at 10 p.m. at night and happen to be unalive by her ex-husband, it doesn't really, really look good on either of their reputation, okay? Because she is recently divorced. Now, I found this picture of Miss Afrida Evans and she purchased the house in 2021. And, you know, usually when you buy a house, usually the husband and the wife is there, uh, but Mr. Evans is nowhere to be found. But then again, it could be nothing to it. Maybe Mr. Evans was busy away on duty and he could not make the closing, but it just kind of something most definitely to take into consideration. Or it could be that this is her first step of moving on post-divorce, post-marriage, and this is her buying her house and looking for life after her imminent divorce. Let's talk about the main perpetrator and the agent of chaos of this whole event. Mr. Charles Slacks, the ex-husband of Aletha Holiday, who, as previously mentioned, was a combat veteran who was wounded in combat, who received multiple awards for his service, and who also works as a civilian for the U.S. Army Central Command alongside his ex-wife, Aletha Holiday, and alongside the victim, Mr. Carlos Evans. So you're going through a divorce and you're dealing with multiple issues, obviously, I mentioned earlier, probably PTSD. I don't really call it that. It's just really, you know, demonic forces and spiritual warfare. But your ex-wife is hanging out with this guy. She said nothing going on. And all of a sudden, you know, a week or two after the divorce, this guy's hanging out at your house around your kids. So this is something that you brothers and sisters must be mindful of. And I'm going to get into what the scripture says about this. I'm going to start at Proverbs 6. And starting at verse 25, do not lust in your heart after her beauty or let her captivate you with her eyes. For a prostitute can be had for a loaf of bread, but another man wife preys on your very life, brothers and sisters. Can a man scoop fire in his lap without his clothes being burned? No. Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? No. So is who he sleeps with another man's wife. No one who touches her would go unpunished. Then it goes on to say, people do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his hunger when he is starving. Yet if he is caught, he must pay sevenfold, though it costs him all of his wealth of his house. But a man who commits adultery has no sense. Whoever does so himself blows and disgrace are his lot and his shame will never be wiped away. For jealousy arouses a husband fury and he will show no mercy when he takes revenge. He will not accept any compensation. You refuse a bribe, however great it is, okay? Brothers, what that base is telling us is that you have to stay away from another man's wife or sister, stay away from another man's husband because you have no idea what their spouse is capable of. You have no idea what type of spiritual attacks they're going through, what type of demonic forces are acting upon their life. You have no idea of the hurt, the pain, the vengeance that they may seek. And you don't want to be caught in the crossfire between a husband and their wife or a wife and their husband. You're not the wife or the husband. So why are you in the middle of it? And that's why it tells us in other scriptures to not even sit in the company of another man's wife. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if Mr. Evans and Miss Holiday were actually involved in some type of romantic or love affair or if they were just truly just co-workers and friends having a platonic conversation in the backyard. At the end of the day, when Mr. Evans decided to deal with Miss Holiday, he inserted himself by default into a love triangle of doom. Is it worth it, brothers and sisters? It's one thing not to know, but to actually know and have some type of awareness and to continue. Is it really, really worth it? Or... Do you want to end up in a love triangle of doom? BVO speaks out.